how would I define creativity? Mm. Um, I haven't thought about the definition of it. It's, I guess in my own case, it's a process uh, largely based on intuition um, that combines multiple elements to take me to a new place. Obviously, in terms of international attention, my new ideas for how to sequence the human genome have uh, created a lot of attention for that process. But that was pretty straightforward. In, in science, you go from one idea to another, building on them. Uh, sequencing the human genome was actually a totally logical extension of earlier work that we did. That was, in fact, much more creative. Uh, to me, a new idea is one where very few people see it or even appreciate it at the time. Um, quite often people are even against it. Uh, they're sure it won't work. Um, to me, the people that I find as uh, unique individuals are ones that can see these processes well ahead of time. Uh, it's easy in retrospect for most people to, to see a new idea and understand it, but uh, when it's presented originally, uh, very few people can do that. So uh, you need to be creative to do science. I, I think science is the potential and for one of the most creative endeavors that humans can do. But unfortunately, most scientists don't do very creative work. I can survive very well and even thrive in what other people would consider a chaotic environment and get lots of ideas and energy from it where other people would just get frustration. Um, so I... The more inputs I have with my type of thinking, uh, the better my creative process, because I can take independent, sometimes non-link things and put them together in a unique way. <coughs> with your unique uh, discoveries and, 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 and innovative uh, thinking and, and uh, thoughts you have done, do you, do you think it is possible uh, to decode the gen genetic creative code? Well, I don't think there is a genetic creative code. Um, you know, th that's in fact one of the things I argue against quite strenuously. You know, that's thinking of life in genetically deterministic fashions. Uh, so I don't think there's anything in the genetic code that would code for a creative mindset. Uh, I think you take the same two in, same individual in two different environments. In one in, environment, that person could be very creative and very successful. In the other environment, uh, an utter failure. And I think we see that over and over again in society. I think it's a tremendous mistake for people to try and take reductionist biology back to human behavior. Uh, there's so many complexities in just our brains alone with billions of neurons. All the connections, all the cells are formed way after the genetic code. Uh, we have maybe 26,000 genes, maybe 300,000 proteins. Those neurons develop independently, you know, based on the environment, based on the cell-cell interactions, based on independent stimuli. So we're very adaptive creatures. I think m most animals are that have a common physiology. You and I share 99 plus percent of our biochemistry, our cellular functions, yet we have different personalities as do identical twins with the same genetic code and a very different outcome. So I'm clearly against genetic reductionism. Uh, it, it's a long answer for saying no, there won't be genes for creativity. Why are you creative? Why? Um, I think I'm a, like anybody else, I'm a product of my environment. Um, I've had a unique curiosity that I haven't lost. I, I think maybe it's because I avoided the rigors of an early education. I sort of rebelled against school. So I think while most people had their creativity driven out of them, uh, I maintained my curiosity. Uh, I think creativity is a natural human trait. I think our society rubs it out of most individuals through the process of our public education systems and socialization.